What is going on everyone? This is going to be a quick run through of getting Terraform running on Linux, specifically Mint 21.1. So let's jump right in. Uh, first thing I'm going to want to do is grab my release. And we can check real quick. Vera is the uh, Mint code name. And that's built on top of uh, the Ubuntu code name Jammy. So we're going to need to keep that in mind. And we can just jump on out to the internets and do Terraform download. And we're going to want Linux. Uh, this shows you some information if you want to add it as a repository, which is probably the better way to do it. Uh, but I'll show you a kind of quick and dirty way real quick. So we can just download that and go over to downloads. And we can just unzip the file that just downloaded. And we look and it is an executable. We can tell that because it's green. And we can just move that to uh, user local bin. And that is in our path. A little delay in my keystrokes on this VM. And of course, that is directory that we need to sudo. Okay. Now we should just be able to run it and check the version. All right, there we go. Okay, now for the better way and what led me to make this video, and we're just actually getting to clean that up real quick. RM to remove it and now you see the command is not found again okay so the better way to do it you see they have this command uh, it W gets the GPG key it dearmors it and then it tees it to user share uh, key rings which I don't really get why they're teeing it other than to let you know when it's done. Uh, that's just going to put the contents into user share key rings this file, but then also print it to the terminal. Uh, this command I ran into a lot of issues with. And let's see if it behaves the same. Okay, and it kind of hangs there. So what I'm going to do is patch this together a little differently. I'm just going to control C and I know that Docker, well, a lot of other programs follow uh, the same pattern, the GPG key, you add the repository to your sources. So we'll just see if we can uh, do the same thing here. So here they use curl and they dearmor it and then they put it just to etc apt key rings and I believe both should uh, get picked up when you do an apt get update or an apt update and update the software so it stays current. So we can just borrow theirs and if we look back here, we're going to want to change the name of the GPG key. And of course, up 
update where we're going to download the GPG key from. Having the Docker one named HashiCorp would be very confusing. And if I can move my cursor here. There we go. All right. And that all looks good. We're curling the key, we're dearmoring, and we're outputting it to uh, ETC APT key rings. So let's run that. See how much faster that was. Awesome. So now down here, we're going to want to grab this same line. And we're going to need to make two modifications. Sorry about the flashing. I should have downloaded Chrome. For some reason recently, Firefox has been having some graphics issues in uh, when I'm running in a VM. So here you can see that it's going to, oh, I forgot the E there, or misgrabbing it. See, this is the issue with a lot of things in Mint because a lot of the commands out there for Ubuntu have it fill in the code name from this variable. But if we go ahead and look at that, it's actually going to be Vera on ours. And we want Jammy, which is the Ubuntu name. So that's fine. Um, we could finagle it to print out jammy, but uh, the quick shortcut for that is we just need to type it in. Not too hard. And let's see. And also, we did not put that in user share key rings. You can. There's nothing wrong with that. Uh, but we actually put ours to etc apt key rings and that looks good and we could check that simply by uh, going to etc apt And there we go. So that all looks good. And then we just need to update and install Terraform. So we'll copy that. Nice control C there, control shift V. And we'll give that a moment. And I believe we can go ahead and look in our software sources, go ahead and put in our password. And now you see we have uh, HashiCorp, which that is going to be Terraform. Uh, and we should be able to run Terraform version. And there we go. And now this should get picked up when we update. So the difference between the two ways we just did is one, we grab the software as it is like a snapshot in time. Uh, it won't be updated, which I don't know, depending on what you're doing might be a good thing. Uh, one other thing I will add is I doubt there's going to be a PPA. I think that's a private package archive. Those actually pull from Launchpad. Uh, Docker had one out there where you could install Docker I think it was .io, which was Docker, but it severely lagged behind the actual uh, main repository of Docker. I think it was maybe two months out of date. 
you see that here with the PPAs. Uh, see if I can pull up a quick example of that. Because I think OBS Studio still uses PPA. Linux. Yeah, see, here's PPA. Nothing wrong with that. Uh, but again, if there's a repository available for it, use that. If you're using a PPA, it's going to uh, pull from Launchpad. So you might get a little bit of lag when there's any kind of updates or newer versions or things like that. But all right, that is all I have for this one. Hope it helped uh, some of you out. And let me know if you have any questions or would like me to expand on any of these topics. But I will catch you in the next video.